You know, man, at first I wasn't so sure. But then I took a step back and thought, Saeed Ben Rama, man, what is this signing? Like, what could this signing, if it happens, what could it mean for Chelsea? And you know what, man, I've spoken to a bunch of my friends who watch the championship and they're like, yeah, yeah, and this dude's the best player in the championship. Yeah, he's awesome. He's wicked, mate. And I thought about it. I did a bit more of a deep dive into this guy's stats and metrics. And man, I'm on the Ben Rama hype train. I'm on it. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Yo, what is happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today as you watch this video. And welcome back to the channel, dude. Welcome to a video that's not really a Chelsea news video, although I am piggybacking on a piece of Chelsea news and I want to expand it further, offer my opinion and present some stats and numbers to you there, the humble viewer. <laughs> Saeed Ben Rama, man, the priority signing for Chelsea Football Club, if you are to believe recent football media. A superb player, 24-year-old Algerian versatile tricky winger playing down in the championship. Chelsea have been heavily linked to these last few days in the transfer news media. And at first I was unsure, but now thinking about it, it makes much more sense. At first I was originally converted because I was thinking... Hey man, yeah, Pedro replacement, a dude who can sit on the bench, rotate in, be happy to sit on the bench because he's come from the championship and he's a sort of relatively young up and coming player. So that made sense to me. Maybe I thought he might be a bit overpriced at first with the numbers that are being quoted. But as I look closer, I'm thinking, damn, if this dude is ready to take the step up, he could be a big player for Chelsea. I'm going to give you the lowdown of some of his numbers in just a moment, but a quick reminder to subscribe to this channel if you've not yet done so. Please do hit the bell notifications icon because I upload daily. And I want you there, the viewer, to keep up with all the good gear, so consider subscribing and drop a like on the video to help us out. Alright, let's talk about Saeed Ben Rama. So, like I said, he has been in the news. Brentford have the opportunity to make a lot of money on a player who probably is ready to take this step up. Even to a club like Chelsea, he's playing at Brentford, he's down the road from Chelsea Football Club, won't have to move house. Come to Chelsea, at first sit on the bench and then maybe play your way into the team. I'll tell you why, Chelsea are going to need another winger. We're thinking Jeremy Boga, but of course it does look like he might be going to Napoli. I've explained this in previous videos. For many reasons, the signing of Saeed Ben Rama makes sense for Chelsea in terms of his player profile, general ability, you know, Pepper, perhaps he's content to sit on the bench, get paid good money at first and then play his way into the team. I was all for that, but the more I watch him, I'm thinking, this could, this could be good, man. First of all, you've seen on the thumbnail probably 41 goals and assists. That's right, 41 league goal contributions since joining Brentford last season. That is an absolute madness for a winger. Now, Yes, it's in the championship. You cannot escape this. There'll be people down in the comments right now saying, Yannick, it's the championship. But we shouldn't disrespect the championship. It's very taxing. As a physical league, you'll get hit hard. If these foreign players come in and they can deal with the physicality of the championship, hot damn, they're going to be ready for the Premier League. Granted, the Premier League's a faster league, but Ben Rama's a tricky, fast player. He should be fine. Now, I'm about to present to you a graphic done by Playmaker showing you some positive numbers of the company Saeed Ben Rama has been keeping. But yes, it's the championship. Have a look at this. Over the past two seasons, across the top UEFA 5 leagues and the championship, <laughs> only four players have registered 20 plus league goals and assists. That is Lionel Messi, ding ding ding, and Nel Di Maria, ding ding ding, also of course playing in the Farmers League. Jaden Sancho, superstar of course, and Saeed Ben Rama. In superb company there, you might say. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know it's a silly graphic because it's the championship. But what is the Europe's top five leagues, right? So what's that? France is the worst out of the top five. And then what's after? Like, Liga Nosh, the Eredivisie. Dude, those leagues aren't so far from the championship, man. And you can bet your bottom dollar the championship is probably more physical than those leagues less quality maybe. I know the graphics a little bit silly because the quality is so far away but it is telling you this guy is doing incredibly well. He's only 24 years old and he's probably ready to make this step up and he's not gonna cost 
the world. He won't cost the world and he's going to be happy to be integrated slowly into the team. The more I think about it and reflect on it, I really, really, really want this signing to happen. I think it could be the perfect profile of player to come in. Perfect profile player. I've done it again, mate, the alliteration. He could be the ideal player to come in and fix a problem in the squad, be a rotational winger, a versatile one that is happy pay play that are playing on both flanks. It makes sense. How about I give you some more stats about the player to try and convince those of you who are not yet convinced. Firstly, dude wants to score goals. He takes 3.7 shots per game. That's what we're missing really from our wingers. Certainly this season when people like Willian haven't taken enough shots. Even Pulisic often, you know, Hudson Adoy wants to be direct. He's always talking about wanting to play direct, but often wasn't playing direct enough when on the pitch, probably due to lacking confidence. This guy wants to pop shots all the time and score goals. And he's got loads of assists as well. Last season, he had 14 assists in the league. He likes being creative, helping out, but man wants to bag goals himself, which is positive. People who watch Saeed Ben Rama down in the championship will know that he is a very, very tricky winger, very technical and good with his feet. In fact, he makes 3.1 dribbles per game, successful take-ons 3.1. We're talking Eden Hazard vibes, yes, at a different level of course, but still he's performing at the level he is at, potentially ready to ascend to the next level and offer the same skills and attributes to Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club Blues. I've said it in previous videos but I will say it again the alternative for Chelsea was going all out on a superstar winger and of course that will have its merits and be good a Jadon Sancho would be lovely but also he'd have to start you know who do you drop you obviously probably drop but I don't know you'd probably maybe you'd move Ziyech into the 10 change formation but it would cause like a disruption Callum to the door will probably be cooked onwards from there whereas you can give the current top tier wingers at Chelsea Football Club a chance to move forward, bring in a versatile winger like Ben Rama who can switch flanks, bring in other versatile players, Frank, uh, Frank Lampard likes his options, uh, moving players around if he's changing formations, and really it's saving money for other positions on the pitch that you really, really need, like a left back and a backup striker for Tammy Abraham. If you spend all your money on a high class winger that you don't even sure, or you're not sure is even going to work, you left in a difficult position. If you spend like 30 million pounds rather than 100 million on Saeed Ben Rama, who's been playing in English football already, granted Division 2 or the division underneath, but English football, he knows what the physicality is all about. You bring him, for an, bring him in for an affordable price, don't have to pay him as much wages as well as a superstar, which would cost the club loads and loads and loads and it could work out perfectly, maybe. Dude, the pandemic has changed everything in world football and will change everything in the transfer market. We, as Chelsea fans, need to be more realistic. Chelsea are probably one of the few clubs that can actually spend a significant amount of money in the transfer window. And they might do that, you know, spend X amount on a left back, side Ben Rama and a striker. Chelsea signing three notable players would probably be a big deal in this transfer market. So you need to like temper your expectations and when you reflect on it a little bit more like I have on this player side Ben Rama, I'm actually thinking dude I'm hyped on it you know if we sign Tagliafico, Ben Rama and just another striker say the likes of Victor Osimhen but, but to be honest he might cost a lot of money. I'll be very, very happy. Now, I wanted to make this video because I, like many of you, didn't know much about the player. And I'll admit, you know, I've only watched a bit of him, I still don't know loads, and my naivety is part of the reason why I wanted to make this video, just show you me as a Chelsea fan, excited for a potential signing. After looking at his numbers, man, and looking at what he's done, what he could do, how he could fit into this current Chelsea side, and after looking at all that together, actually makes a lot of sense to me. So really, I wanted to make this video, express myself how I feel on this potential signing, how, you know, currently it's just a news story. We don't know if it's true or not. Um, you know, it's been listed as a priority signing, but we don't know how much truth is in it. But I wanted to reach out to you, my football therapy viewers, and get your opinion on this player. Do you, like me, think it's a really good signing? Or do you think it's not someone we should be looking at? Remember, Chelsea can't buy Jeremy Boga. They're looking for a way to make money out of the deal if he goes to Napoli, but he's not going to come to Chelsea. He's not going to play for Chelsea. 
so Ben Rama could be the answer. Let me know how you feel about this situation in the comments section below. Regardless man, football's coming back and it's exciting and transfers will happen and it's exciting. Let me know your thoughts, get down in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed the content I've provided for you guys today, please do consider liking the video, subscribing to Football Therapy. I'll also leave a link in the top of the description like I always do for my second channel, Jan's Yard, which I'm thinking of trying out some new different type of content on there. I was actually talking about doing some true crime videos which might be fun different to football I know but if you want more content with me that's a little bit different do go subscribe to Jan's Yard link in top of the description and of course you can come and follow me on social media at football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter and that's it from me you guys you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby